2 plus 150 is 350 divided by 2. 7? 7? Yeah, I have 7 sales. 6 are from yesterday, 1's from today, so I'm just going to go ahead and ship it since I'm shipping this late anyway. And it's super easy, it's a CD. It was, uh, if it was something hard, I would probably wait. But uh, one sale was on Macari. Let me get it over here. And it is one of these uh, dream tents. It's a tent for your twin size bed. If you've been following the channel a while, I've been I've been talking about these. I hate them. I like them. I hate them. I like them. I th about I think this is the last one of the boys. Then I have some girl ones left. This one sold for fourteen dollars shipped. It's gonna ship. It's gonna cost about seven seven or eight bucks to ship it. And I've had four dollars and eighty eight cents into it, so not much profit on this one. But uh, I just want. I, I always say I just wanted to get rid of it, but that's honest to god. So for like a flat item like that. I just use one of these number seven boxes. I have a poly bag that's big enough, so I'll put it in there to protect it. I just slide it right in there, right in there like that, and just tape, I just tape all around it. And that's that's how I ship that thing. That's why before I, I was doing all kinds of weird stuff to ship that thing. And when I figured out to do it like that, probably I'm assuming from YouTube because I learn everything from YouTube. I have my Ikea bag. I would say probably if you're watching this video, tell me if you have an Ikea bag. Because I have an Ikea bag. I'm going to put all my orders in there. Take it inside. But I'm going to grab them all from my my storage system here. That I have nu numbered. Labeled by whatever kind of random thing I decided to come up with. I talked about it a long time ago. So, well, <laughs> I have A2. Oh, I have an A2 over here too. I have a A5. But I got a BH. I got a SB. Oh, there's A. And I have an A3. And then I have a CUL. <laughs> I have a B, a B2, and a BB. So it's just kind of whatever I felt like that day. To, to be honest, I have two A2s because I used to keep everything in this in these black totes. When I switched and get, got, had these shelves put out here, I uh, these wouldn't fit inside of here. So I went out and bought new ones and I decided to go ahead and go with the clear ones. In case I lose something, I can find it. First item is in C. Right here. I sold this, it's Remco, it's AWA wrestlers, uh, Larry Zabisco, and I don't remember, I think it's uh, Craig, it's like Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, and uh, Greg Gagne. Uh, these are just old, I think 80s wrestlers. Uh, it's called Remco. If you see Remco, Remco's usually do pretty well. I sold this for $26.39, and I have a dollar into each of these. This was a part of a, I bought in a lot of eight action figures for eight dollars at goodwill one day they had them all packaged up together i already sold two other ones before i'll put those up on there and one sold for like 16.99 and then one sold for 19.99 one of them was in a video i think and maybe it leads me to i have another sale from that exact same lot of uh figures i bought it's in h right under here it's two more figures it's wwf figures they are the Killer Bumblebees. I don't know their real names. That's their tag team name, but I don't remember who they are. Dollar a piece into each of these. And these sold for $75 uh, shipping through the global shipping program. Uh, I took an offer on that. I don't know a lot about wrestling figures, but when I was a kid, I played with a, this same set and I didn't have the Killer Bees. I don't know if they were a popular one, but I had a WrestleMania taped on my VCR. And when the Killer Bees wrestled in the WrestleMania, it, it, it like was snowed over and I couldn't watch the match. And I just always remember the Killer Bees. So I remember never having this particular set. So when I saw that in the lot, I knew I knew that those were probably gonna be okay. When I looked them up, they had, they were pretty expensive. So I had a price for $100, someone offered me 75 and I took it, plus shipping. Plus there, which sucks is because I broke my thing, look at that. Oh, I broke my thing. That sucks. Happy to take a $75 offer on something that's paid off and I only have $2 into it. Especially when you see some of the other stuff I sold. G, next one's in G. But I sold this Jenga Quake. Uh, I picked one up at Goodwill for $1.49 and I bought another one at a garage sale the very next day, $2. Two plus 150 is 350 divided by two. Let's just say $1.75 into this and it sold for $8.39? $8 $8.79. That's okay. I had never seen that game before. I keep filming out here and then it's like loud out here. So I just cut it out because I was sure. That's why I wanted to show you a little bit of the uh, the storage area here. This, this is all listed too. This is all listed. That's all listed back here. All listed. This is all listed. This is not listed. This is not listed. I don't think I'm gonna sell this. I, th 
I think this is uh this is mine, but uh, I don't I don't think I want to keep it. I mean I don't think I want to I don't think I want to sell it. This is all uh, shipping supplies, so it's not it's not uh it's not death pile stuff. This is death pile stuff right here. These three bins are death pile. This is all listed right here. When I first I know some people go find boxes. I just buy boxes. I get these from for my shipping discount, but. I just bought boxes because when I was starting out, I had limited time, but I'd rather go source than go look for boxes. I've come accustomed to it and probably too lazy to do that. So we're gonna go inside. I'll show the I'll show you the other things that sold. I had three sales that are that are not very good, but we sold them. So I sold this Avalon Joy. It's a Christmas CD. I sold this for one dollar ninety nine cents plus uh, media shipping. Went to a church sale. It's a fill a bag day. So I paid $4 for an entire bag of stuff. I bought a bunch of CDs. I got there kind of late. I found a Wii Sports in there. It doesn't work. $4 for the entire bag. I've already sold a few CDs out of it for some, uh, not nothing great, but decent money where it's already paid off. So next I sold this Nintendo Switch game, Legos The Incredibles. Uh, this was from one of the, one of the games from Target. I have $14.50 into it and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping and then if you've been watching vlogmas you i already talked about this game the other day and it resold i sold it for 39.99 plus shipping i had four i originally had 42 dollars into that game so yeah I, I i made a little bit of money on that so I'm, I'm okay with that those are all the items i sold today still have a little bit of time i want to get them packaged up come back and then um i, I always put my videos out at 2 p.m um it's just the time that i came up with with uh, when I my old work schedule, it works for me to try to get my videos out. And I try to always be free at 2 p.m. And I usually, I always respond to every comment, but I really try right at 2 p.m. to be answering, not answering, but you know, thank you people if they watch my videos. But if you have a question you can ask, I, don't, I mean, that's fine too. But I get worked up sometimes when I start talking. I'm walking around talking, I feel like I'm getting cold. Probably because I'm standing out in the garage in a t-shirt because this is where I keep all my eBay stuff. I edit my videos a lot longer than you would think by watching them. <laughs> but anyway, <sighs> all right, Dan, just pull the orders. Just pull the orders, man.